and she can come in and end. <gasps> okay, we're gonna say happy Saturday. <gasps> happy Saturday! Good morning, everybody. Hey, okay. Okay. <laughs> hello, hello. Welcome to your live Saturday workout with me, Body Fit by Amy. Let's see who is here. Say hi, Tammy. Hi, Teresa. Okay, you tell them something. It moves by itself. But I get power, but there's a little steam. <laughs> yes, yeah, so. It's a solar panel. It moves by the sun. That's amazing. All right. Hi, Shelly. Hi, Moonbeam in Texas. Awesome. Shelly says, excited for some fire, even though the last fire workout almost killed me. Kayla, hey, everybody. So today we're doing dumbbell fire. Yes, a lot of you guys did the full body fire with weights a couple weeks ago. We liked that format. So we are gonna keep it up today with some dumbbells. So some similar stuff, but we'll mix it up. Hey, Laura. Hey, it's 10 p.m. in Pakistan. All right, you can do this tomorrow. Melanie is here. Let's get this party started. And Katie, okay. Oh, you can also power with light. That's Kai wants you to know. All right. Okay. It's actually on. Show them your headband and then go with daddy, okay? Guys, got a body group by Amy Headband. All right, bye guys, bye Maya. <laughs> have fun, guys. All right, we have a two-year-old who's being a little pouty today, so she did not want to be in the video, and that is okay. Welcome, everybody. Kathy is here. Kathy, my sister-in-law. Yay, Charlotte, Liz, Natalie. Awesome, guys. So we're gonna get started in just a minute. Full body fire, like every other live workout, we're gonna go 35 minutes. We will hit it hard. I'll give you lots of options. And then at the end, I am going to um, hang out. I'll grab my computer. And if you have any questions for me or we'll chat a little bit, it's always just fun to say hi and connect with you guys in that way. So you guys, um, I often get messages from you uh, and I love when this happens. It's hard for me to keep up with them, but of you telling me about your story, finding me or doing the videos, um, how I have been able to be a part of your health and fitness journey. I love hearing those stories. And this week I got an email from Alex and Alex was telling me how his key and his girlfriend, Bernadette, have been doing my workouts for a while. Bernadette found them during um, quarantine in the beginning started working out at home and then she really liked them so he started doing the workouts with them and it's really become a part of their life and a part of their routine so i think they're watching today so i'm just gonna say a big hi to alex and bernadette alex thank you for reaching out to me really fun to hear your story this week i'm excited to be a part of your fitness journey i'm excited to be a part of your future together and it's a really exciting day because I think Alex maybe has a question for Bernadette. So we're going to let you guys handle that. And Alex, you let us know how it turns out. All right. The rest of us are going to go ahead and start warming up. Alex, make sure you check in with us. And Alex and Bernadette, make sure you still do that workout. Okay. <laughs> all right, guys. So spread out. Make sure that you have some space to move. I'm going to get everything ready to go here. Let's go ahead and start marching, start jogging, whatever it is good for you. Roll those shoulders to the back and to the front. And let's take them one at a time. Yay, Tammy is here and Hanny and Charlotte, Liz, Jasmine. Awesome, guys. It's going to be a fun day today. I am excited about it. I hope you are too. Open those up. Let's step out to the side. Lean into it. Julie is excited to be back first live from Louisville. Take it out and bring it in. And then let's take it here up and down. Whew. It is hot in, out here in LA today. I am already feeling it. And let's keep this going with this little hinge. We're gonna reach it down. We're gonna take it up, down, and up. And then if you want, walk it out. Oh, I'm tight today. <laughs> and bring it back. Woo, walk it out. And bring it back. Let's get one more with that little inchworm. Here we go. And take it back. 
and then let's alternate our lunges. So let's take it back. You decide, you don't have to go super low, but dropping the, the knee just a bit and stepping back to open up the hip. Let's add, if we want, a little stretch here. Take it up, take it back. Hey, Brittany from the BC, thanks for joining. Other side. Woo. And let's take it flat back down and round it up. Sarah in Pennsylvania got the kids down for a nap. Yes, amazing. Hold it here, roll those shoulders. Hopefully they stay asleep for you. And let's walk it in, round it up, tap and reach across. All right, team, so full body fire. So we are here and we're gonna be working with dumbbells today. Of course, if you don't have dumbbells, use your kettlebell, use whatever you've got, right? You can use soup cans, water bottles, whatever it is for you, or just show up and move your body. You know what I always say, I just want you to show up and keep moving. So let's go with that. We are going to have, hey, Thomas is here. We are gonna have a upper body, a lower body, and a core. Probably lower body, upper body, and core in each little circuit, just with dumbbells. Let's take them up here. And then we are going to start with your strength moves. So we have 30 seconds of strength. Then we're gonna add a little power to it. So that's gonna look different for every move. And as always, I will give you options. So be where you are today, right? So they want 30 seconds of power, stretch it out to here. And then we will have what we call our fire round. So 30 seconds of fire. So that will be higher intensity. It does not mean that it's always gonna be higher impact. And if it is, I'm gonna give you different options, right? So just step touch. So you do you, be where you are today, use the modifications. If it's something you need to follow, if you are one of my pregnant mamas or early postnatal or healing a diastasis recti, I will call that out. Otherwise, let's take it with those hamstrings, guys. You just do what works for you. As long as you are upping the intensity, that's all that matters. It doesn't matter if you're doing exactly what I'm doing or if you're jumping or doing the higher impact version. All right, so you guys stay here. I'm gonna talk you through your first circuit with those dumbbells. So we're here. We're gonna start with our plie squat. 30 seconds. Alex, she said yes! Oh my goodness, you guys. All right, let's take a minute. Let's say congrats to Alex and Bernadette. Thank you guys for letting me be a part of that. Oh. Alex wrote to me, told me he had this plan. So thank you, Alex and Bernadette. Congrats, you guys. Do the workout if you can. If you're celebrating, we understand, but come and hang out at the end so we can chat a little more and hear all about you. All right, guys, so keep moving. Our first round, we've got our plie. Then our power round, we're gonna add either a little pulse at the bottom or a little mini jump at the bottom. Then we're gonna set those weights down transverse jump is our fire. If you don't wanna jump it, you can just step it. All right, then we're gonna take it to some rows and some planks, but I'll talk you through it once we get there. So 30, 30, and 30. Oh, I'm so excited for Alex and Bernadette, but we still gotta work out, right? Okay, so grab those weights. Oh, everybody's saying congratulations. It's a couple that works out together, stays together. That is so true. Oh, I love it, you guys. All right, while you're still saying congratulations, let me preview your, your row. Your second move will be your row here, because I know everybody jumped to their computer to say congrats. We're taking it here. Then we're gonna add a little walk back with the row, walk it in, and row, and then we'll add a little pop back. All right? All right, guys, so let's jump in with that plie. Thanks for all your support, guys, for Alex. Let's take it down. Here we go. Alex and Bernadette, we're so happy for you and love that we could be a part of that. Drop it low, squeeze it up, up and in. So getting low, pushing into the heels, connecting with the core at the top. 
We've got 10 seconds and we're gonna add that power. Remember, it's either a little jump at the bottom or a pulse in three, two, one. Here we go. So we're here, either here, all the way up, or here, pulse, and up. Whatever is good for you, and up, here, ah, I did both, right? Down, jump, and up, or down, pulse, and up. Yes, one more. Good, drop those weights down carefully so they're out of your way. Let's take it fire. Transverse, so you're opening up on the diagonal. You can take it low impact here, but still get the power and the intensity. Here to here, up. Yes, this is where we really bring it. And then we get a 30 second breather. So push through 10 more seconds. Here we go. Three, two, one. Ha, ha, ha. Quick sip of water, guys. We're gonna take it to that row. So remember, ha, we'll get about 30 seconds of rest in between to let that heart rate come down. We've got our regular row. Then we take it down. We pop it back, walk it back, we do a row. Then we're gonna add a pop back. Settle that heart rate, grab those weights, shoulders back, core zipped, here we go. So bring it up and bring it down. If you are using, whoo, if you are using a kettlebell, you're gonna wanna alternate. I'm gonna adjust my fan, guys. You keep going with that row. Too hot. Take it up, squeeze, drop it down, take it up. All right guys, so you can keep it right there if you want, or you can walk it back. Here we go, so we go one row up top, walk it back, one row each side, walk it in, bring it up. Row, if you wanna just stay up top, that works too, walk it in, row, Walk it back, walk it in, row, walk it back. All right guys, so now we're gonna add row, pop back, pop it in. All we're doing is adding a jump to it. If you want, you can keep the walk, you can keep your regular row, keep it going, 15 seconds. Row up top, row down low, Jump in between if you can. 10 to go. Can you get one more all the way through? And relax. Stretch it here, guys. Catch your breath. We're gonna stay down with a plank. So, whoo, dumbbells out of the way. All right, guys, so we're just holding a plank. If you need to modify, we're gonna take it with your bird dog, and we're gonna keep that pretty much the whole time. If you can, we're gonna start on our elbows with a the plank, then we're gonna bring it up. So here we go. Join me here, 30 seconds, just holding. Zip up in that core, bring those hips together, bring the ribs together, tighten on those legs and those glutes. Again, modification, you're alternating that bird dog. Bring those hips forward and you'll still feel that core, right? So holding. 10 more seconds on those elbows. Then we're gonna bring it up onto your hands for our power version. And I'll give you options. <sighs> Breathe, three, two. So if you can't bring it all the way up, we're gonna bring the knees in and out. In, nice and slow. You probably know what's coming for fire. <sighs> but what I want you to think about, guys, is bringing the knees all the way in. So keep that bird dog if you're modifying, but if you're not, really power in. Power, right? Contract on the inside. Keep it going. And up. Here we go. Run it. Here's your fire. You probably knew it was coming, right? Modified, you can take it here, or you can just tap it, but bring it in. Core is engaged. Everything is lifted. Shoulders and elbows are right above those wrists. Get that fire. 
fire. Last 10 seconds. Here we go. Keep it going. Breathe. Five, four, three, two, relax. Stretch it out. Whoo. All right, guys, bring it up. We're going to get one cardio mobility. I know that was cardio, right? Where we get all of those things working for 30 seconds. And then we're going to grab a sip of water and then we'll move on to our next round. All right, cardio mobility. So let's step it out wide, reach up, wide, reach up. So we're getting similar motions, right? Here we go. And up, out, and up. If you want to shuffle it and get a little jump in between, you can. But we're thinking about opening up the hips, mobility after those plies, opening up the back and the chest, mobility after those rows, right? Woo! Sweating today, guys. Out, in. Let's go 45 seconds with this cardio mobility. Why not give our hands a break from holding the weights and then we'll take a full minute to breathe where you can keep it going with this, but I'll explain your next round. And breathe. Yes. Three, two, one. Quick sip of water. You can keep that move going if you want. Watch me here, guys. So, we got two sides. You keep moving. Tap it out or do what we just did. We're gonna take it in a curtsy, crossing it over. If that bothers your knee, just tap it back or take it to a regular lunge. Then, we're gonna go curtsy, power that knee up. So it can look like this or just the knee, whatever you got. Then we drop them down and we take it to our skater. Then we'll get all that on the other side. All right? Then we're taking it to a curl and press. Let's just stay here. I'm gonna preview the whole thing. Curl, press. Then we're going clean, press. I'll talk you through that. If you're not comfortable, you just keep a regular. And then we're taking it to a snatch one at a time. If you don't wanna do the snatch, we're just gonna curl and press one side. All right? Then we'll take it down with a crunch. It'll be simple once we get there, but we'll feel it. All right, grab those weights. Get ready for that curtsy. Step into it. Here we go. Down and up. Strength, super basic. You're just crossing behind, drop that back knee, push out of the hip, core's engaged, chest lifted, good posture. Right through here, right? We're gonna get both sides, so it'll feel like a little bit longer of a set, but we can do it. And breathe. Yes. All right, we're gonna add a knee. Watch me, you can either be here or here. I know you've got your weight, so you're gonna to need to bring that knee up in front a little bit, but do what is best for you. Down, power, or down, little jump. Little jump, I know it's gonna burn, but you can do it. 10 seconds, either way, drive it up. Yes. Three, two, one. Set those weights down, side to side, skater. Low impact or high. You pick your speed. Just want you to stick that landing. Lean into the hip, lean into the hip. Really power off of it. Bring the fire for 10 more seconds. Here we go. Yes, breathe. Three, two, one. Catch your breath, let it settle. We're gonna get all that on the other side, right? So we've got our regular curtsy. We've got our curtsy, drive the knee up, either with a jump or just to the side. Then we got that skater. Are you with me? Woo! Let's do it, bend your knees to get those weights. Starting with just your curtsy, I hope your heart is pumping as much as mine. Here we go. It's the thing, you guys can always hear how hard I'm breathing, right? Especially in these live workouts because we don't have the music. So I feel like I'm just huffing and puffing. Down and up. 
Hopefully that's okay. You guys know I'm feeling it too. <sighs> Drop the knee. <sighs> yes. <sighs> Get ready. Here we go. Drive the knee up, either just driving up or a little jump. <sighs> little jump. I don't want anybody to feel like they're going to hit their weight with the knee. So do it with control, but still get that power. This is our power round here, here. Yes. Or here powered up a oh, little bit of balance, right? Five, four, three, two, one. Bend your knees, get those weights out of the way. Here we go. Skater, take it out. Right? Side to side. Can you get, even if you're going lower impact, can you get a little lower? Really get those hips? I think so. Keep it going. And breathe. Three, two, one. Catch your breath. Let's get some water after that one. That was a lot, you guys, both sides. Whew. Three straight minutes of those curtsies. <laughs> All right, guys. So, whoo. <sighs> Catch your breath, grab your weights. Let's start with a curl and a press. Here we go. Roll those shoulders and back. Take it up, take it up, down and down. So we're up, up. You decide if you've got your kettlebell, obviously you're between one. Remember when we add our power, we're gonna add a clean, which is just a little hinge back. If you've never done it before, I just want you to keep the regular curl and press. Five seconds. Watch me here. Here we go, it looks like this. Clean, press. Little drive of the hips, little power. You're still getting the motion. You just get a little bit hips back and power, not arching the back or anything like that. And then your press is the same, right? Yes. Up. Good. Up. Again, if you want to just keep regular curl, regular press, that works up and relax. All right, guys. So give yourself just a second. Watch me first. Two options. You're here, curl, press, then switch here, curl, press, or it's a snatch all the way through. Join me here. Here we go. Snatch, drop it down. Snatch. Your snatch comes right up close to your body. You get a little power, a little momentum, connect with that core or curl, press, and switch, curl, press. You can still get that fire. Up, right? Either one, you're still getting momentum. You're still getting the fire. Just do what's best for you. Last one, let's get each side. A little extra on this one. And relax, Woo, right? All right, team, let's take it down. Catch your breath. We're gonna take it down for a little bit of core. All right, with or without your weight, I'm gonna give you some options. We're gonna take it with a hollow hold. So modification is just a bridge, hold that core. Everybody else, I want you to take it out here, you're just holding. If you wanna have the weight, it's gonna be a lot, join me here. If you wanna have the weight, you might wanna take it here. If you can, here, we're just holding. So everything is pulling in in the center. Hips are coming towards each other. Navel to spine, ribs towards each other. Everything nice and tight, right? Whoo, we got 10 seconds. Move my microphone. Breathe, three, two, here we go. We're bringing everything in, everything out. We got power and out. If you're modifying, just your bridge, Arms over, just your bridge. Here's your modification, but if you can, and out, 
and out. In, big reach. Yes. Modified your here. Watch me guys, we're gonna switch it up. Twist, twist. I still want you to go slow, even though this is our fire round. And if you're modifying, I just want you to go alternate your arms with that bridge. Right? Here we go. Fire, fire. Not too fast, even though it's our fire round. I just want you to think about contracting. Yes, we're gonna go a little bit longer because it took a second to get into that one, right? Five, four, three, two, one. Relax, yes. Good work, team. Let's bring it up. Woo! All right, guys, so catch your breath. Woo! Let's get a little cardio mobility from that. All right, so we're gonna take it over, curtsy. Bring it up, swing those arms back and up. You keep it here and then you watch me, right? So you can go quicker if you want, but what I want is stretch back for biceps and shoulders, drive it up for shoulders. And again, you don't have to get as low as you did on that speed skater. Think about mobility, side to side, reach it back. You watch me. All right, guys, we're going into a deadlift. So. We're gonna take it deadlift here. <sighs> then we're gonna alternate our legs. You can either do a kickstand one at a time, <sighs> or for power, you're here, drive it up. Here, drive it up. Then we're gonna take a second to get set up and we're going to that swing. If you wanna switch out to a kettlebell or if you wanna take one dumbbell in the center, that works too. We're gonna give ourselves a second to set up for that fire, which is our swing. All right, then we're gonna take it down for a chest press. We're gonna mix it up a little bit. We're gonna start with a press, then we're gonna take it to a plank press, which you're gonna love. All right, guys, and then some side planks. So go ahead and catch your breath. You can finish out that mobility. Grab a quick sip, and let's get into that deadlift, all right? Deadlift together, one-legged alternating, with or without that kickstand and then a swing. Are we ready? I think so. Here we go. Hinge back. <sighs> nice and slow. Focus on your strength. You can go heavy on this one. I should have <sighs> gotten my 15s or my 20s. Up to you. <sighs> Squeeze it up. Connect with that core at the top. Remember when we come up, we're not arching our back. We're coming straight up and down and pull up in the core. <sighs> Drop it low and up. Last one. All right, alternating. Here we go. So you're either here and up or cab that foot back, kickstand. That works too, you guys. But keep that back flat. What we're not doing is rounding in our back. Remember. And up. Yes. Woo! and breathe one more each side balance yes all right so whatever you got ski or swing with two one swing in the middle give yourself a second to set up we got 30 seconds of fire prep it three two one power it up if you're not comfortable with a swing you just keep a deadlift two feet or alternating up to you power zip up in that core you got it 15 seconds locking out at the top five four three two one swing and relax Woo. yes pedal those feet guys give yourselves a second Let's drop it down. Here we go. All right, guys. So let's take it here. We're going into a chest press. We're going to go press into tries. If that's too heavy for you, you can just keep the press. Or if it's too light, you can just keep the tries. It is up to you. Here we go. 
So we've got press, tries, down, up, yes. Here, here. Should be good for everybody if you need to elevate into a bridge, if you're one of my pregnant mamas, that works too. Down, up, yes. And up, ah. good, and breathe. All right guys, so watch me here, everybody to add the power. We're adding the bridge, we're adding the tries. Join me here in three, two, one, up, bridge, up. Here's our power, all the way up and down. Again, if that's too heavy for you, you can just do the chest press. I promise you're still gonna get your triceps. Up, or take it to one, which you might be doing if you have a kettlebell anyway. 10 seconds. I know those hamstrings are tired from those deadlifts, but keep them going. Yes, three, two, one. Awesome, guys. We're gonna burn off those arms and chest and triceps. So take it over here. Modification, stay on those knees here. Down, down, up, up, or knees here. If you can, join me up top. 30 seconds, fire. Let's get it done. Down, down, up, up. <sighs> guys, trying to keep your hips square in the center where we're not all over the place here but trying to get a little bit of speed. I know everything is tired from that, but you can do it. Finish out strong, down, down, up, up, then alternate. Core is working hard too, but let's get those arms. Whoo, arms and chest. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax. I know, right? All right, guys, take it down on your side. You can be on your knees, on your toes. We are almost done, guys. So you can lift it up. We're gonna hold first. So join me here. We're going 20, 20, and 20 for this side plank. So don't worry. We only got 20 seconds holding. And breathe. Zip it up. Five, you can be on the knee. Watch me, we're going down and up. Down and up, power. Low to high, bring it up. Down, power is coming up. 10 seconds. Again, you can be on that knee too. Yes. Watch me, we're gonna add a down and up. If you want, side knee. Down and up, here's your fire. Yes, it's gonna be done quick. So finish strong. Good, five, four, three, two, one. Relax, stretch it over. Yes, swing those legs around to that other side. 20 seconds, here we go, lift it up. So you're holding here, everything is zipped. Again, you can drop that knee if you need to. Look at that guys, we only have five minutes to go. We can finish this out. Stay with me. Why did you show up today? <sighs> Alex showed up so we could get engaged. Down and up. Bernadette showed up to get a workout and then she got a surprise. But the rest of you, <laughs> we are here to move, right? Whew. Pull it up and in. You guys too, but. <sighs> We're gonna add that top knee in three, two, one. Here we go, down and up, in and out. Down and up, here's your fire, bring it. And up, whoo, yes. Good, and breathe. Last one, oh, relax, stretch it out. Oh man, you guys, whoo, catch your breath. Let's bring it up after that. Whew. I think since normally we get a couple swings in a workout, we should do one more swing as our cardio mobility in that workout. So again, you can keep just your deadlift. Take it here. You can do skier swing. You can do one dumbbell or kettlebell in the center. It is up to you. I'm gonna go one heavy dumbbell 
so you guys can see what that looks like. Whew. All right, hinge at those hips, roll those shoulders back. We only got 30 seconds. Here we go. Prep it, deadlift to modify, bring it up. <sighs> Whatever you got, one heavy dumbbell or kettlebell in the center, two dumbbells to the side for skier. <sighs> Just talking about it this week in the Body Fit Athletic Club, why the dumbbells aren't as easy to swing. They're not designed for it, right? We hold them in the center versus the top, but we can still get the job done. Just the weight distribution is a little different. Pop it up, zip up that core, shoulders back. Remember our arms are getting the work, but not doing the work. Three, two, one, swing and relax. Pedal those feet. Oh, you guys, whoo, breathe. Ah. <sighs> Guess what? I think it's time for a bonus move. <sighs> what do you guys think? We got a couple minutes, let's get it done. All right, catch your breath. I want you to get a little stretch to those hamstrings. You know what we did not do today? Any regular squats, any regular lunges. So let's get those done. Here's what we got, team. Let's do no weight. Let's not even worry about it. <laughs> All right, so we're squatting, we're lunging, we're squatting, we're lunging, you can either then mountain climb it up for four or mountain climb it here for four. Got it? That's all we're gonna do. So we get core, we get legs, we get those arms holding that mountain climber. Again, if you wanna stand straight up, you can mountain climber up to the top. One minute, here we go. So squat, you can jump it or you can squat. You can take it, take it down, four, three, two, pop it up. Here we go. Squat. Up top. Four, three. You can keep it down the whole time. I'm just giving you the options. Squat, lunge, squat, lunge. Pop it back. Four, three, two, pop it in. All legs, right. Pop it back. Four, three, two, one, 20 seconds. Low impact, you're here, you're still getting the work. Four, three, two, one, 10. Can you get it through one more time? Four, three, two, oh. stretch it back. Oh, you guys. You brought the fire. Stay right here on your knees. Lean back a little. Do you guys feel how you get that hip flexor stretch, right? If it feels okay for you, stay on your knees and lean forward, get that stretch. If that's not comfortable for you, depending on your surface, just take it up. But if you can, we're gonna lean into it this way. If you need to, take it here, but I want you just to tilt your hip forward instead of, it's not a lunge, it's a stretch, right? And then if you want guys, take your hands on the inside of that knee. You can do this standing up as well, here. And then rotate it up, right? Yes. I hope you guys felt that, I did. <laughs> take it here, lean forward into it. Again, you can take it standing as well. We're gonna get a little stretch, then we're gonna hang out for a few minutes. Here we go. Take both hands on the inside, so we press out gently, it looks like this, guys. So then you're getting a little hip opener, right? And then move that hand in, stretch it up. Both feet forward, let's just hinge. Roll through your back, cat's a cow from that standing position. <sighs> Hands down, pedal your feet right. Oh, you did it. Thank you for hanging with me, for bringing the fire, for bringing the power. <sighs> Slowly roll it up. Let's take it out. All right, guys, so hang out. We're gonna chat. 
I'll answer any questions you might have. Whew. You guys, it's not too late to join 99 Days of Summer Fit in the Body Fit Athletic Club. If you're looking for more support, more accountability, more information, you get to connect with me, you get to connect with Vivian, our Body Fit dietitian. Um, so much extra information and support. Of course, if you can't do that, I hope that you are following my June Summer Fit calendar. All those links are in the description below. So check those out. Whoo! And breathe. Oh, let's take it here. One more time. Yes. Oh, my muscles were already sore. I was on set all day yesterday, but that was a good one. I hope you felt it too. All right, guys, one big deep breath in and out. You did it. That was your dumbbell fire workout. Great job, everybody. Excellent work, team. All right, guys, I'm gonna grab my computer. Let me know if you have any questions. And again, big congratulations to Alex and Bernadette. If you joined late in the beginning of this workout, I was talking about how Alex wrote to me, telling me their story, how they've been working out to my videos, and they got engaged today, you guys. So congrats to them. Let me grab my computer. Whoo. <sighs> All right, team. So Catherine is, oh, she, you just got back from camping. You got to finish unpacking the camper. You made it to the lab. Good job. <laughs> Brittany says more than three to two minutes left is always a bonus move, especially on the, you never know with the lives, right? Cause I could do anything. Um, usually when you see it in one of the regular videos, that's when you know it's coming. Not all the workouts have a bonus move, but a lot of them cause it's fun, right? Point of the bonus move again, brain, not pain. Your brain has to think about what's coming up next. You get one last adrenaline boost. You get that energy up. You push one last time. That's the goal. All right, guys, let's see. Melanie went heavy with her 20 pound dumbbells. Amazing. Melanie is in the Body Fit Athletic Club and she works so hard. Yes, Tiffany says another amazing sweaty workout. Her heart rate got up to 173. Simone, thanks for joining. Denise, everything is burning. Bernadette, congrats. Thanks for helping Alex, Amy. I was almost too lazy to work out today. I'm glad I showed up. I thought about that. I was like, what if she wakes up and she's like, oh, I'm not really feeling it. Let's go to brunch. I'm really glad that you showed up. Congrats, you guys. <laughs> She was so surprised. Excellent. Thank you for letting me a part of, be a part of that. That was so fun. Liz had a good workout. Katie live and it was a burner. Awesome guys. Yes. Good thing she showed up, right? Uh, thank you guys. If anybody has any specific questions, let me know. I love seeing who is joining. You guys, so 99 Days of Summer Fit in the Body Fit Athletic Club, the June Summer Fit on the free calendar. All of them are gonna be packed with super fun workouts. Um, my family is gonna be traveling some this summer, so be on the lookout for some lives. Make sure you show up for these lives because we're gonna have some in different locations. We'll have some special guests. So it's gonna be a fun summer for that. Make sure also that you are subscribed to my channel because one, for one thing, guys, make sure that you're subscribed because that helps me out. But also, we're gonna do our best to do a live workout every single Saturday throughout the summer, but there may be a few where we're traveling where we won't be able to. So you wanna make sure you turn on those notifications so you know if there is a live workout coming up, you know what new workouts are coming out. Subscribe, click on that little bell, that's gonna help you. Also, make sure that you're following me on social media. Instagram, Facebook, so you also figure it out from there. Rosemary's Gym and doing my workouts for a couple of years. You love them. Yay, thanks. Uh, yes, how do you join this? So link in the description, Body Fit Athletic Club. Um, there's info on the Summer Fit, what, what exactly that is in the Athletic Club. Then scroll down and you will find it. We have um, a couple of specials for that as well for monthly and yearly. And then you can also just make sure that you are signed up for my newsletter if you want to just get the free June Summer Fit calendar. Yay! Yes, Teresa says this workout lived up 
into its name. Yay, awesome. Let's see, Katie, question. After having multiple kids, will my skin back, get back tighter after exercising or what else can I do? You guys, this is such a common question. You probably see with me, I have loose skin as well, right? It's just something that happens with babies especially if you've had multiple because our skin gets stretched, right? In the same way our muscles and everything else does. But here's what I'll say guys, the more one, you want to be taking care of your skin. You want to be moisturizing. You want to think of your skin in the same way you think of your face, how we put moisturizer and we make sure we take care of the skin on our face. We're ex we exfoliate things like that. But also you guys, the more muscle tone we have, it's a combination of losing body fat, right? Like everything else, but also building that tone. So yes, I have, I'm just watching myself on the monitor here. I have that loose skin as well, but when you build that muscle up, it's less noticeable, right? So you probably still see it on me, but it's not as noticeable because I'm building the muscle. So the more muscle tone you have and the less body fat you have, it's going to get a lot better. I'm sorry to say there's not a magic fix. Even if you decided to do some skin surgery or sometimes after babies, people do a tummy tuck. I would not recommend it because it's major, major surgery, but also that is not gonna do anything for your strength or your function. So what we wanna make sure is that we have optimal function and strength in our core. Make sure if you've, done, if you've had babies at all, make sure you check out any of my postnatal core workouts because it is a whole different ball game to retrain those muscles after they've been stretched out through pregnancy. So great question that I get all the time. No magic formula. Oh, is Kurt gonna show us a picture of Alex and Bernadette? Maybe, <laughs> All right, guys, so if we, if we can't bring it up here, make sure you check my social media later. Um, if they're okay with it, I will share it on my Instagram at bodyfitbyamy. Let's see, he's gonna see if he can bring it up on the monitor. Ah! I don't know how that would work, but we'll see. You might be able to put it in the chat. I don't know. Anyway, oh, thanks, guys. Let's see. Uh, yes, Asling has been in the Body Fit Athletic Club in the, since the beginning. First live workout. Yay, thanks for joining. What is the reason for soreness, Sportscaster89? Listen, soreness is a combination of a lot of things. Um, it's It does not mean if you don't get sore that you didn't get a good workout. It doesn't... Oh, it's up. Oh, oh, wait. But how can people see it on here? Oh, okay. Oh, I am. Can you guys see that? Ah, can you see it? Oh, yay. Awesome, you guys. I can't see it on here because I'm 30 seconds behind looking at my computer. There they are. Oh, so fun. I mean, I maybe this is before the workout. They don't even look like they worked out, did they? They don't look sweaty at all. You guys are so cute. Good work, Kurt. Look at them. Oh, that makes me want to cry, you guys. I'm so emotional. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Sorry, Kurt was cueing me that it was up, but on my computer, I'm a few seconds behind. So, Yay, awesome, you guys. What a cute, cute picture, cute couple. Thank you for letting us be a part of this. So, so fun. All right, guys. So if anybody has any other questions, let me know. Otherwise, make sure you check out all the links for everything we just talked about. Just make sure that you join me for summer, whether that is in the Body Fit Athletic Club or just showing up for these workouts. We want to just keep moving, right? I know it's not summer for everybody. We have a lot of international people who are maybe are in winter, but either way, for a lot of us, it's summer. We're going to keep moving. We're going to keep our heart rates up. We're going to keep ourselves getting strong, keep showing up for the summer. And again, I have lots of fun stuff planned. So make sure you join, especially for these live workouts. Um, awesome, you guys. All right. Thank you again. One big congratulations one more time to Alex and Bernadette. Thank you guys for letting me be a part of that and for involving the whole Body Fit by Amy community. If you notice all of these comments, people think you are so cute. Awesome, guys. All right. Everybody have a great rest of your weekend. We got a new fun Monday workout coming up with weights. So make sure you check that out. Several workouts next week. And then next week live, we will do the same format. We'll do a kettlebell fire. So it's going to be a good time. If you don't have a kettlebell, just bring your dumbbells. We'll do it all again, but different. All right, guys. Thank you for showing up. Have a great weekend, everybody.